Today's my mother's birthday. Happy birthday, Veronica. Happy birthday, Veronica. Happy birthday, Mom. Let's just say, okay. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Veronica. Happy birthday to you. Frank's mom. And then I felt bad about not, you know, not being there today, but you know. But I am there, and you she's are. here, you know. Yeah. And she loves Ron, man. I gotta say, it. It's, it, it, you know, she just, she just, you know, Ron had some, we had some, uh, you know, special times together with the family. And, you know, I'm gonna read a piece right now. I haven't read it in a while, but uh, uh, this is a, a piece for a dear friend of mine who's no longer with us. Um, <clears throat> a, a good friend of mine, man, and. Uh, and uh, yesterday, as I was driving, uh, uh, we were going to the game together, my friend Mark and I, and uh, we both realized, you know, that April 10th was the, um, the anniversary of uh, our mutual friend Ron's uh, death in 1995. And um, I wrote this poem for him, and I haven't read it in a while. And, uh, I want to read it for him, man, because I'm feeling, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. In the wake of the barge, for Rob Aladdin. A rhythm has paused. A note fallen short. A heartbeat has ceased. My friend slipped through fingers like sand into the dark blue of forever, consumed by the contentful moon. Drowned by darkness, my friend escaped from the warm embrace of mother, father, sister, brother. A scraped from sturdy hugs of old pals. My friend's heart ceased slowly, resisting life's beauty. Its steady beat, deceived by the omen of genius, leapt into the majestic symphony of stillness from the pain, from the pain, from the pain. From the pain that my Sunday night binge has clouded my vision, instinct to feel demons scratching at the hallways of his soul, pinning him down the cold brick wall of no tomorrow. My friend in the night opened up the gates to solitude and crept through April's cruel hooks. Its corresponding breeze whispered, this way, Rob, this way, shh. Go this way. Let him through the tangle of unfolded secrets. Let him away from the confusion, from uncertainty, from poisonous life, from the sunlight, from spring's offering of promise, from musical projects of hope, from good wine and good love. You should be here sharing this wine with me. Telling you about the new tune you're working on. Climbing those cliffs. Look at them. Get your leather gloves on and get your foot gear together because we're going to climb that mountain together, Rob. I'm going to kick your ass. My throat is sore from yelling out to the night, demanding you to appear in my passenger seat. The night that you and I lived for, its song was our song. Caught off guard by the nightmare you carved for us. Visions of you in a dark barn, the umbilical cord of death wrapped around your neck. Tonight I held Mary in my arms because she couldn't stop shaking. The wild trees spoke in tongues, whispering soft lullabies on the wind when something inside me cried out, It's all right, Rob. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Your 27 years of life made you content enough. I don't see you as a restless soul. I see you as a beautiful spirit. The pause rhythm, the note falling short, the paused heartbeat finally gives in to peace.
one more piece, and Tyrone is going to help me in this one. I'm going to have some more of the sober up fluid here. Because there's a lot more going on today. There's a lot more stuff. Thank <laughs> you. 